Hey guys, so I got a request to go over how to set up story shots with TypeScript and Storybook. And I was able to get it pretty much set up okay just following this guide that they have on Storybook. Um, but what I'm going to do is show you how it works and then how I have my Storybook set up with TypeScript because I've changed it up a little bit. And that might be causing people trouble when they try to get this to work. So first off, if you don't know what uh, Story Shots is, it's uh, an integration with just snapshot testing. That's what they talk about here. So you can go check that out if you want to see what snapshot testing is. Um, it's pretty nifty, uh, but it basically gives you free testing for that. You don't have to add any other code. It'll automatically um, do it. So it's really fast integration. So let's look at how you do this. So first, I just installed the library using this. Next, I had to add this storyshots.test.js file. And let's go see how I did that. So I wasn't exactly sure where to put it, but I have a folder called UI um, in this little example that I have. And inside of that, one of my components is button. And basically, UI has all of my stuff for testing, uh, or not testing, all of my components that I want to have stories for. So I just put it in there. And the only other difference is I changed it to .ts because it's a TypeScript file. And the reason is because my whole project is a TypeScript, so it's going to be looking for TypeScript tests. OK, it has a little, a little TSLint thing in here, but it runs OK without it, so I don't even worry about touching this. So the next thing I do is I just do yarn test and it'll just go ahead and run and test it so the first time we run this it'll create the snapshots so it's going to create a little folder here called underscore underscore snapshots I'm going to see that run and cool and now what I can do is I can now change my button for example I can make it pink and save that it's going to rerun the tests it's going to be like hey you changed something uh, and it'll tell us what exactly changed and what's the difference. Now, unfortunately, this only checks the HTML. So at least, I guess, the default. I don't know if there's a version that also checks the CSS. But with Emotion, all it does is it changes the class name. So you notice the only difference we see is the class names are different in these two uh, when we change the color of pink. But you'll notice there's actually um, two stories that were affected this one and this one. So if we come over here, here are the two stories and it makes sense because we are rendering two buttons. We've changed the color so both of these should be affected and they are so we can see um, that right here. Now the other thing is to get this to work I had to. Originally I was using this syntax for React Emotion and if we run that you'll see it's not going to like it at all. And it's going to be like, please use the Babel plugin. So I wasn't sure how to get the Babel plugin working, at least with my current setup. So I just went ahead and changed it over here. And you might not even be using um, or React Emotion, so you might not even have to worry about this at all. It might just work out of the gate. Um, the other thing is, let's say you want to update your tests. So I've changed this to maybe blue. And I want blue to be the new normal. Uh, so, or basically snapshot it with blue. So it, I'm like, all right, that's fine that these things are different. If you, uh, at the bottom it says push W for more, and then you run, you press U to update. It'll go ahead and update, and now blue is the new normal. Okay, so that is pretty much all there is to the story shots and that. Um, let's go over what my uh, current setup looks like for Storybook with TypeScript, because I changed two things. The first is I kind of started using Babel to uh, basically compile a TypeScript or transform it to JavaScript. So you'll notice I'm using some different plugins here and then also some different presets. Particularly the weird one is this one right there um, to convert it to TypeScript. I was basically just having trouble converting it with the TS linter for whatever reason. Getting that to work with the um, Emotion plugin was difficult because I wanted the Emotion plugin to run and then compile it to TypeScript, or I mean the opposite, change my TypeScript code, convert it to JavaScript, and then have Babel run on it or something like that. And it just wasn't working too well. So I just went ahead and tried getting Babel um, to do the whole thing, and that seems to be working better. 
So you can actually add a special .babelrc inside the storybook directory. So that's what I did. And then the other thing is I changed the webpack config and um, this is what it looks like. I'm just testing for TypeScript files and it's pretty much pretty similar. Um, another big one is I'm transpiling only is true. This means it's not going to check for types. Um, and yeah, so I'm still using the TypeScript loader. I can't remember if this is necessary or not. I made some of these changes a while ago, um, but the code does work. Um, I remember twiddling with this for quite a bit, trying to get this TypeScript and React Motion and Storybook all to play together nicely. It is not the easiest thing, but this does work. I'm gonna go ahead and push this code on GitHub so you can check it out and uh, use it if you want to get the same setup for your project if you'd like to use these three libraries so yep that's it for this video guys thanks for watching